Hi all folks, this is Max from GalaxyS2Root.com um, So I've got an updated video on the Resurrection uh, ROM This is version 2.2 um, This one has a bunch of some new things um, Mainly it's uh, West Crisp, West Crisp. Um, The developer of this kernel went back to the uh, CM9 kernel um, For better battery life and more stableness but you can you can install Sia kernel for dual boot if you want to. Um, other than that, uh, also the tablet UI was removed. I'm not sure why. And um, I think some of the MMS features were uh, fixed. And uh, inverted internal and external SD card issues were fixed. Um, so highly recommend it to um, give this new version a try if you're already running this. I know many of you are probably running this already. Um, but let's go play with the settings for um, anybody new to this ROM. We can go to uh, Remix Control now. Um, you can you can change with all this. Uh, allow 180 degrees rotation. Um, also you can get um, you can get web OS style um, recent window. So now you hold down the recent hold down the center button. Oops on the center button. No, oh, it's not working. Try that again. Um, oh, there you go. So now you get uh, web OS style, so you can close apps like that. Um, LCD density, custom carrier label. You can put your custom carrier label instead of your uh, AT&T or whoever. And also hold back to kill. You can kill apps, um, open apps. Oops and it will kill it instantly. Uh, something I love about AOKP uh, ROM control. Um, there's a bunch of stuff you can do. I've, I've done it before so I'll go over it again though. Uh, Mac CPU, if you install SIA kernel you can overclock it and also if you want to get good battery life you can set it to 1000 or 800 which will use less voltage. Your phone might run a little bit slower but you'll get a, a lot better battery life that way. And also, if you need to charge your phone fast on computer USB, you can enable that. And what that will do is um, disable the USB connection, and you'll be able to charge it super fast. But make sure you turn it off if you want to use the SD card um, as a disk drive on your computer. Um, this phone runs pretty fast, even at 800 megahertz uh, with this ROM. Pretty good stuff. You can mess with the battery uh, style, with the percentage there, clock, um, and also one of the really cool things is the lock screen. Um, you can actually have volume buttons to wake. Um, you can enable calendar. You can connect it to your um, calendar and uh, it will show your your um, your latest appointments at the top. Um, and also enable fast torch which is really useful and uh, just when your phone's off hold down the power button and boom you got the flashlight there. And also you can set, um, if you want to have a bunch of more options on your lock screen, like for example you want to set it, um, set so you can actually go straight to Gmail, you can do that here, change the lock screen style to um, how many targets you want, uh, let's just try just four now, then you can go out uh, to the bottom and uh, choose custom apps, and let's say, um, go to applications and you want your calculator uh, maybe use that often and uh, also custom app applications um, true gmail and uh, this is like basically widget locker um, but widget locker you have to pay for it versus this one it's you know part of the ROM also um, no ads on this one so flipboard um, oh, let me just set three for now and now you can go straight to Gmail or Flipboard or Lock, Unlock. Um, if you set it all, it'll, it'll all show up. Um, other than that, there's a bunch of stuff you can do with the um, LED also. Um, clock performance. And uh, and also let's go to SGS2 settings. You can mess with the screen uh, mode here. Um, for you, for you, your UI, you can set the DMI uh, mode, set it dynamic or natural or movie like if you'd like uh, mess with that 
Um, so that's pretty much it. The version 2.2 is a lot more simpler also to install. Just download the um, ROM file and uh, install it and that's pretty much it. It's just a standard installation. It also has um, default uh, theme. If you want to get like a default default theme, this is actually pitch black. Um, so when you go into like Play Store, you'll get a uh, slightly black themed which is kind of cool. I like it, so I'm not going to change it. See how its background's kind of black. Um, so I think that's pretty much it. And uh, go ahead and flash the 2.2 if you haven't. Um, certainly, still the best ICS ROM I think for the Galaxy S2. Although I'll keep reviewing more ROMs. Um, definitely a good uh, stable ROM you can always go back to. Uh, for keys users, you won't be able to use keys obviously on any. Um, AOKP custom ROMs you can't use keys uh, but you can try using wireless um, keys keys air off the market um, they should allow you to connect to it uh, via uh, your Wi-Fi anyway um, that was just a quick overview and update on the version 2.2 um, looks pretty solid um, of course every time it gets better and better and uh, let me know what you think of this ROM and uh, you know we'll um, get things going here. Anyway, uh, if you have a Galaxy S2, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, galaxyS2root.com. We update you uh, once a week with uh, ROM of the Week and also uh, tips, hacks, and more. And also, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me via email. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button. It helps me greatly. Um, subscribe button up here if you have. Thanks a lot. Um, and use that share button to share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. Um, anyway, and also I'm giving out a Galaxy S3, brand new Galaxy S3, so don't forget to um, check for that on high, highonandroid.com. There's a contest uh, you can enter to win it, so we only got two weeks, so check that out. And uh, thanks again, guys, for supporting my high on Android channels and my Xeomax channel, and uh, stay high on Android, yo.